This is going to be a really quick video on, or a tutorial on how to make um, a spotlight, a realistic spotlight on a JPEG image or any of your animations. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import a picture um, of a brick wall. Uh, image, brick wall, and it's a pretty easy trick. Um, We'll drag the uh, default vector layer on top of the brick wall. And so, first thing we want to do is select uh, the draw shape. And we want to make sure that the auto fill is off and the auto stroke is on. And we'll select the rectangle, draw a rectangle across the stage, and then draw a circle inside of that rectangle. And then we're going to click the fill uh, paint bucket tool and fill that with black, leaving a hole. Oops. Make sure it highlights like that so there's a hole in the middle where you drew the circle. So now you have that. And then all you need to do is um, I'm going to uh, take the stroke off. I just clicked W and uh, took the stroke off of the circle and I'm going to uh, double click <clears throat> the uh, layer we just made and turn that into multiply the layer blending mode into multiply and now I'm going to hit Q to select the shape and we're just going to turn down the um, opacity of the black so you can kind of see the brick wall behind it and we'll do that by clicking on the fill and moving this slider down about halfway so when we render it <clears throat> you can see it looks like a spotlight on the wall but we want it to look realistic so to fix that we'll also click on the effect uh, the first effect and click soft edge and we're gonna uh, click on the blur radius and just turn that up to about 50. And now when we render it, it's got a soft edge around it. And you can just animate the uh, circle around the stage to make it look like a spotlight that's um, lighting a dark area. So, and actually, let me, I'm going to actually turn the uh, opacity up for the black layer so you can see it even uh, more clearly. So if I render that, now it really looks like a spotlight. So we'll just go to frame one and oops, using the translate tool, we can scale it down, we can go down the timeline and uh, move it and move it again or we can make it really small which will make it the light dim or we can move it and scale it way up and it'll look brighter and I'll just go ahead and render those frames about 60 frames just so you guys can see what it looks like um, actually change this <clears throat> so it's a little smaller and um, I'll render it. Um, what am I looking for here? Export animation, 60 frames, and uh, we'll do it at a tight quality. And. Let me move it here so you can see it. And there it is. Easy to make spotlight. And that's it.